people who are seeking refuge from the fires in, in Yellowknife. Uh, there is concern over pets, animals. Joining me now is Dr. Michelle Tuma, Northern Canada Veterinary Specialist at Veterinarian Veterinarians Without Borders, and she joins us from Yellowknife. Thank you so much, Doctor, for joining us. First of all, uh, we're glad that, to see that you're safe, uh, but I do wonder what the last 24 to 48 hours have been like for you and your volunteers. Um, it's been pretty wild. Uh, we've been working on wildfire evacuations for animals and pets for the last few weeks. Um, for some other surrounding communities um, to Yellowknife. And now we, the tables have turned and mm -hmm. uh, we're working on it here in Yellowknife. And what is the situation where you are? Is your base safe? Is your location under wildfire threat? Uh, talk to us a little bit more about that, if you could. Uh, so Yellowknife it's itself right now um, is under serious threat uh, for this fire. Um, how? Hello, sorry. Oh, we still have. <laughs> um, please, please continue. Okay, perfect. Sorry, thank you. I was getting a phone call there. Uh, but uh, anyway, so Yellowknife is um, under serious threat for the fire. Um, however, is that's why the city gave us enough time to have people to evacuate via road and via plane before the threat becomes um, imminent, which is on Saturday. Um, so right now, you know, I'm actually at the Sir John Franklin High School. That's mm -hmm. the high school that I went to. Uh, I'm here distributing crates. So that's why I'm sitting in my vehicle right now, um, giving crates to people who need them for their pets uh, to be able to get on a flight uh, so that they can evacuate mm -hmm. safely with their pets. So talk to us a little bit more if you could. And my goodness, I can just imagine how, how daunting a task it is to coordinate all of this. Uh, how much help have you received? How many volunteers do you have helping you right now to uh, help get these animals out? Yeah, so um, I work remotely for Vets Without Borders and Yellowknife is my hometown. And it just so happens that um, now we are doing this emergency response here. So I have an amazing team at Veterinarians Without Borders um, who are all across Canada who have been supporting um, my on the ground efforts here um, I would not be able to still be um, functional without them. And in, in addition to that, we have our local partner, which is the NWTSPCA, which is the local animal shelter here. And their staff and their board, along with other volunteers across Yellowknife, have been um, helping support the efforts uh, for the pet evacuation. And Doctor, do you know where these pets are going to be able to go? Uh, who will be able to help out once you're out of the city? So um, those details that have been potentially organized via the city um, have not been um, shared with us yet. Um, so we know that on the other side, there are people who are welcoming the, the evacuees. Um, and and via air at least um, and that there are some evacuation centers um, there's evacuation center in Yellowknife as well and it's been the same center that has been used for the other communities that have been evacuated over the last few weeks um, what's been amazing is that this time the city has allowed the evacuation center to be pet friendly and it's the first time that that has happened. So that really, really helps. Having these flights that are pet friendly as well really, really helps. Um, and so on the other side right now, I'm not sure if there's anything that is actually organized, um, but we do have so many other organizations, people um, reaching out individually just to say that they are here to support any evacuees that um, end up in Calgary with their pets. And Dr. Tuma, you mentioned that you are from Yellowknife. This mm -hmm. is your home. Can you tell us uh, just what has been going through your mind these past few weeks as you've been helping with pets that have come from other areas of Northwest Territories and now uh, to you yourself uh, having to evacuate? Yeah, it's, it's been crazy. I mean, to be honest, I feel as though I haven't really even had to have, to have I haven't even had time to think. Um, you know, a few weeks ago when a nearby community of Betrico was evacuating and 
um, we needed to jump in um, to help out with the animals. It was kind of a no-brainer and we just like I just started helping got support from Vets Without Borders and just started rolling with it there. Then Fort Smith and Hay River and Enterprise were evacuated and we just continued to um, provide the support. Um, so it's and now it's Yellowknife and you know it was not something that any of any of us was, were anticipating. Um, it's been pretty wild. Um, it's been surreal. I was telling some people that this morning I woke up and had a wonderful kind of sense of peace for a moment and then got the scent of smoke in my nose. Wow. And then just it like hit me and I was like, wait a second, this is the reality right now. All right, got to get up. Let's get going. We got things to do. So it's definitely been surreal and just kind of taking things moment by moment um, and trying to support wherever we're able to support. Dr. Michelle Tuma, Northern Canada Veterinary Specialist at Veterinarians Without Borders. Uh, I hope you stay safe. I wish you the best as you um, seek, seek refuge. Uh, hopefully, uh, along with all the other pets, that you remain safe and that you get to where you need to go safely and quickly as well. Thank, thank, take care and thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.